Well, Coach, another weekend coming up, another big tournament for the Green Wave this time. One year host in the Tulane Pelican Classic. Just talk about this weekend. Well, I'm hoping we come out and uh, compete. You know, the weather's going to be a bit of a challenge for us. So, um, you know, we had another great week of practice, though, so like two weeks ago when we did. So what I really want to look for is for us to come out and just have a presence out there team-wide and compete hard, and we're looking to get two wins on Friday. That'll give us a nice boost and a nice record. And of course, this is also in addition to your, pay, your, your team uh, dual matches. You also have some a pairs tournament on Saturday, of course, weather permitting. Just once again, talk about how, the, how that goes and how the, the format for that. Yeah, the pairs tournament is a great event because it gets us more action. You know, in a duel, it could be over 40 minutes or an hour. It's just three games. But in the pairs tournament, what we have is two brackets. So we'll bracket up our ones and twos from each of the four schools, and then we'll have a separate bracket for the threes, fours, and fives. And uh, they'll play in a double or single elimination format and uh, all the way down to a win. So, you know, our number one team's already picked up a pairs victory in DeLand and we're hoping to do it again. And um, it's great experience for our three, four, and five. And hopefully we can be in the finals in that bracket too. Obviously, in, in the uh, dual match play, you're going to be taking on UAB and uh, excuse me, Weber International teams. Talk about the team matches up with those two opponents. Yeah, I mean, two good opponents, frankly. Um, you know, Weber International's coming in, and I haven't seen much of them, but they have a nice record. And, um, you know, I expect them to be a challenge. They're a good sized team. Uh, they've been playing a lot. I know they play on the beach. They play in some other events that uh, other college teams don't. So they're an experienced team. I expect it to be a nice challenge. And UAB historically has played us tough. I think historically we're two wins and two losses against UAB here. Um, so again, you know, I know they have a lot of players that they play on the indoor side and they're good players, they're well coached, so I expect it to be a real battle for us. If we get two wins, it'll be really two wins that we can be proud of. And again, on Saturday, you added those two teams on the Pairs Tournament, plus you bring in a UL Monroe team who yeah. has been pretty doggone good as well. Yeah, ULM, you know, real good program over there, well coached, experienced athletes, uh, played us tough last season, I know that have a real unique style of play that we're trying to practice around and make sure we defend that well. So, you know, Saturday, you know, weather permitting, I hope we get that thing off the ground because with those three teams and us in there, should be a lot of good battles and a long day of good competition. What are you looking for your team to get this weekend? I mean, obviously wins are nice and you know, those, those, that, that pairs bracket victory for an individual would be, would be great. Yeah. What do you hope, what's your team need to do? What are you looking for to see them get accomplished? Well, you know, we talk a lot about the process and, and, you know, at this point in the season though, we're trying to transition a little bit away from the process and frankly emphasize results at this point, you know, and um, it's, always a, it's always a process to, to do that and convince the athletes that on match day, it's all about results. So we want to come out there and try to get wins. And that's what matters most the next two days is just get wins. And we want to establish a presence. We want to play tough and have a great offense. All right, Coach, appreciate it. Thanks a lot and good luck. Okay, thanks.